Now what I'd like to do is since we built this protocol for this client and we've made some changes, I'd like to save it as a template because I may use it later for multiple clients. If we get one particular protocol that we like, we can save those settings so we don't have to build it each time and we can simply dump it into a new client folder. So to do this, we simply, you notice that build test one is still in there, which is great. Okay, we then scroll over to the right and we click on view and change settings again. You notice as we pan out that we're back to setup options, but before we skip that first button, that read write settings file, the reason we did that is because we were creating a client folder for the first time. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click that box and we get to the read write settings file window. But over to the right we notice create new settings file button okay this button will enable you to create your own custom template so as I click this you're gonna notice I get the dialog box that says create new folder now this is not a client folder this is a settings file keep that in mind so you're not gonna have a client name here so for instance this is gonna be custom alert file Okay, this could be anything, whatever you name it is your choice. I'm just using it because I knew I started with the alert settings, but I made some slight modifications. I'm going to go ahead and click on the right the use name for file ID, and you'll notice it simply duplicates the name. And under comment, I can simply put um, my custom folder. Again, you would probably put something a little more specific to what you're doing, but we want to use that information because it gives us the capability of glancing at the folder and knowing what we did with it. We then click the OK once, and we know we notice we get the confirm new folder. We click it again, and now what happens is in the list as we scroll down we see custom alert file is now populated the list it's not yet does not yet have any settings in it it's simply a blank folder so we highlight the folder we then slide over to save settings to this file once we do that we click it now we've filled that file with the settings from our build test folder so for instance, if a Sally Smith comes in later and we're gonna run the same protocol on her, we'll simply do the create new folder, type in Sally Smith. When it gets to the settings file list, I can scroll down, find custom alert, and it'll dump those settings right in there so you don't have to rebuild that file. Okay. We can simply then click OK to save because remember we wanna save the settings so we're gonna click OK, and it's gonna save this new folder in these new settings, okay? You notice in Setup Options, we're still in Build Test 1. All we've done is now save the template of Build Test 1 to use for others.